Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a new dimension style so you can show two different units on one dimension. This is gonna allow you to choose between or show both imperial or metric or say two different imperial scales like feet and inches or metric millimeters and say centimeters or meters using what you're going to learn today you'll be able to mix and match any of those and i think this is going to be really helpful for your drawings let's get started <laughs> All right, first off, we're gonna create a dimension. So up on the annotate tab here, you're gonna to go to the dimension box and we're just gonna choose a linear dimension. This is gonna use the standard style so I can show you the difference as we move forward. So let's just dimension one of these walls here. You can see it's an even seven feet. We're also gonna dimension another wall, let's say up here, just to use as a comparison as we do these changes. So to begin with styles, you're going to want to click this little arrow here, which is going to pop out the dimension style dialog box. This is going to allow you to create, modify, or override your styles. In our case, we're going to create a new style so we don't change our standard. And instead of naming it a copy of standard, we're just going to call this one standard. And then in brackets, uh, imperial. And metric. So you can name this however you would like. You're going to be able to choose which style you're copying. So I would recommend copying your current or typical style and then just adding this as an option that you can then switch between or turn on and off by choosing a different style. You can choose annotative. Uh, I would recommend that in most cases. In ours, we're not going to get into that. Though I do cover annotative text and dimensions in my course, AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows in a Hurry, which I'll put the link to up above and down below. It's jam packed with a ton of AutoCAD workflows and tutorials that are going to help you uh, jumpstart your drafting. Uh, moving forward here, we're going to hit continue. And this is going to create a new style, which we can now modify. So you're going to want to go over to the primary units. We're going to leave all the other settings at the same. Either you can use the standard typical one, or maybe you're copying your current style that you've already customized. We're not going to change that. We're just going to go to our units and you can see here that our units are defaulting to architectural style. So feet and inches, and that would be fractional inches. As you can see from the dimension uh, over here, when we close these boxes. So once you've got your primary unit set, I assume these are already going to be your default, but in case you want to change them, you can do that here. You can change how you want the initial or main dimension to show, whether you're going to use architectural style, engineering, which does not use fractional inches, uh, decimal, which would be decimal inches or feet, fractional or scientific. We're going to stick with the architectural here since that was what the standard is and what most people would be using uh, for floor plans or architectural drawings in particular. Now we're going to go to the alternate units tab and this is where we can get a little more creative and show uh, additional information in our dimensions. So in our case we want to show a secondary or alternate unit uh, and you can do this in a few ways here. I'm going to show you. Hitting the check mark is going to turn on our alternate units. And then from here, you can customize which format and unit is going to display. So in our case, we're going to use decimal because in ours, we're going to use a metric millimeter uh, unit. And that's typically displayed in decimal. But again, you could choose a different style. Uh, then you can choose your precision. We're going to stick to two decimal places here and then you're going to need a multiplier and this is the conversion factor to get from the default units to the alternate units. So in our case, this is going from inches to millimeters. So we're going to be using 25.4 as the multiplier. If say you wanted to use inches to centimeters or inches to meters, you could simply scale that. You could use a 0 0.025 for meters say, or 2.54 for centimeters. Uh, you could also change this to any other unit or conversion that you would like by using this multiplier. 
Maybe you just want a 10 times or something for a scale or uh, alternate unit in general. Uh, and then down here, you're gonna get to choose rounding. You can round to quarter inches or even inches here. Uh, we're just gonna leave this at standard. But what I would like to do here is add a suffix, which would be a set number of uh, letters or numbers after the dimension. So in our case, we're going to put the units, which would be millimeters here. Uh, and by default, it's going to put a box around this dimension to show that it is different from the main dimension. You'll want to put this in your legend, something along the lines of a box with a dimension in it, and then saying that that equals metric measurements. Uh, you can also suppress zeros by turning these on and you can choose the location of where it's gonna place it. By default, it's gonna to choose to place it after your primary uh, dimension here, which puts this little box to the right, if you can see that in the example. Uh, I prefer to put it below. It keeps them separate, and I feel like there's a little bit more separation from them, and it makes it a little clear. So hitting OK is gonna finalize these changes, and you're gonna see that we now have a new style here in the Dimension Style Manager, and closing that is going to finalize this. Now, any new dimensions you create with this chosen are gonna display with an alternate unit down below, in our case, millimeters. To change one of your existing dimensions or all of them, simply select them and bring up the properties menu using control one or right clicking and using properties down here. You can see on the right which style is being used. And in this case, it is the standard style. Hitting the drop down and choosing our new one is going to change it to this dual unit dimension style. You can also use MA for match properties to simply select the dimension style you want and then copy it to another by clicking on it. This works for multiple dimensions and makes it super easy to switch between the two styles. So you can see how helpful this is in your drawings. It's gonna make it really easy, especially for projects that may be uh, requiring a millimeter and inch or imperial dimension on your drawings, uh, especially for mechanical or production drawings uh, where factories could be using millimeters or metric for a lot of their molds or production work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, learned something new and have a new dimension style in your CAD template. Uh, again, if you want to learn more or check out any of my other videos, make sure you guys subscribe and take a look at the course, which I'll put linked below and up above and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.